The following contains strong language, nudity, and scenes of a sexual nature. On the flight, while we landed in London, and I did something really stupid. I couldn't, I couldn't keep it in any longer. I told Josh what had happened when I messaged him, voice noted him. He wasn't very happy at all. I was just a worry of whether he's going to want to speak to me again. <laughs> I do know that I text Josh when I was on the plane and had Wi-Fi. I thought you were waiting until you were back here. When I was in Australia, all I did was speak about Josh. Now I've landed back in England, all I want to do is speak about Josh. I just hope I haven't messed things up. I was getting more and more scared and the closer I got, I was thinking, I can't physically tell him yeah. face to face, I'm too scared. And then he sent us two voice notes, which I was very shocked at. Do you want to listen? Yeah. I get why Charlotte's so upset about Josh because for once she's finally met someone who likes her for her. Will he forgive her or has she lost him for good? I do like him and I do want to tell him and I do want to make things right. He just genuinely is a really, really nice, kind-hearted, loving boy and don't want to lose him from my life. No, deep down, he would never treat us like shit. I trust him and I just fucked it up. Before I head to the party, I'm meeting up with me good mate, Scotty T. You're never going to guess who I was saying, Joshua Rich. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but listen, this is where it gets bad. Now, before I went to Australia, we made a pact, right? that we weren't going to get with anyone else. And... I kissed someone. Yeah. That's all. Do you think? So he shagged someone. Didn't shag anyone, it was just a kiss. Yeah, yeah but listen, kiss. listen, he's going to be pissed off first, but the be all and end all is you told him. You didn't have to tell him, but you told him. True. Yeah, I think that you worry too much. It's not the end of the world. I've been worried so much, but Scotty T thinks it's not a big deal. Well, maybe I should stop worrying. And we don't see each other much, you know. We only see each other once a week. Really? Well, how is that any good? I know. That's what I say. So you have sex once a week? Yeah. Oh. Awful. You'd be any good for me, kid. <laughs> I'm really gutted about Josh, but it's my dad's 50th birthday, so I've just got to make this night amazing for him. So trendy. Bring on the first wheel. I've known Gary since I was four years old, and he's like a second dad to us. I wouldn't have missed her for the world. Finally, the moment of truth. I just hope he likes what we've done. Come on, you, calm down. I've pulled out all the stops, a snake, a mobile bar. I've got a bouncy castle, two more suits, and a big Ferris wheel. It's officially party time! So funny. Mom! Mom! It's getting faster! You got really saggy tits! <laughs> Me mum might have beat us with the eggs, but now it's time to fight! Sumo style! No! <laughs> Twenty-seven years of Charlotte pissing me off right there. So everyone is gathered here today for my father's fiftieth birthday. Yay! I would just like to say that everyone who is here is very close and dear to him, so you all know how much of an amazing, loyal, kind and caring man he is. Since I have become in this crazy world, he has done nothing but support us yeah. from day one. And I want to thank you so much. I don't tell him as often as I should, but like, I, I couldn't ask for a better dad in the whole entire world. 